Hello friends and welcome back to Animal Crossing! I am Peachy Lama here on YouTube and today we are starting another island. I know, I know, I know, but I had to. We were finished with Riverwood. I was ready to restart it. I had no sentimental connection to the island so I'm very excited to get underway and start this island that I want to be my forever island. I want to set it up where I can change it per season and just have fun with it seasonally and just enjoy it that way. I want it to be very generic. I guess basically no theme, norm core for real this time and just constantly change it per season. I, I meant to do that with Riverwood and it just didn't happen that way, but I really want to do it for this one. I have a lot of ideas, so I hope they'll work out and yeah, I'm just really happy. So let's get into it. Let's see what we, let's see what islands we can get. My plan will be once I find an island that I like, I'm going to um, actually f take the time to design it on the happy home designer thing that is online because I never design an island like that and I think I need to. I almost want to flatten it when I get there. Once we get terraforming, and really just have a fresh island to figure all this out on. Um, we reset Riverwood and Riverwood was actually the island that we reset from Wind Lake. So this is the second time I have reset this switch. And I, only times the reset islands have been on this switch, which is pretty funny. I have too much sentimental value with Ambrino and Willowis right now. And of course, Llama Land is my experimental island for videos, which you guys saw an example of that a couple weeks ago, um, which I'm very excited about. So we have a lot more of that coming, but this is for my playtime. <laughs> this island is for my playtime, my enjoyment. So I don't know if I'll be able to find 10 villagers for like a specific season, if that makes sense. So again, this island is is a little bit like I think maybe get a couple villagers that look like fall and a couple villagers look like winter and spring and summer since it's a seasonal island. I don't want it to be like strictly all winter, all fall because I just can't do that. So I need to find villagers I may potentially haven't had before and ones that kind of go with a season. That's my goal. I hope it's tulips. That's my dream is to have an island that has native tulips. Oh my gosh, that's my dream right now. Oh, I don't like any of these. Nope, I think we're, gonna, we're already gonna reset it. <laughs> I hope we don't do this a ton of times, but I'm not a fan of those. I feel like a part of me may stop in the middle of this and actually try to design an island um, so I can find the right map and go from there, but I just want to look at islands and the options that they give and just pick one that feels good and hope that it has cute villagers and go for it. I love Llama Land and how it has a ton of space at the entrance. I love that idea, so I want to figure, I want to find another island that's similar to Llama Land, but not exactly. I'm going to literally speed run to get to terraforming. My mindset is literally just to get to decorating as soon as possible. What do we got? Ah, ah! Yo, it has a little heart too and a long dock. I've never had the dock on the right side before, but it's two south river mouths. Is that gonna bother me? All right, I'm gonna take a few minutes and I'm gonna try to design something on Happy Home. Okay, so I did end up finding it and I've already started. <laughs> so I ended up finding the exact island on Happy Home Designer, which I've never done before. I think that's pretty, pretty cool that it found the exact island. So I'm gonna just go ahead and flatten it as we would. I'm not that impressed right now. So I took Riverwood's map and redesigned it as if I flattened it. And I kind of like it, honestly. I think I'm gonna say no to this one. It doesn't look too bad, but I just, it's not calling to me. Like it looks like a good potential because it is so, there is so much space. There really is. Let's just try it see what's there and then I'm just gonna have to figure it out <laughs> I'm just gonna have to figure it out oranges okay yeah I worry about the south mouths of water you know I think no no I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna I thought about it I'm just I'm not I'm not it's okay it's okay I don't like the south river mouths <laughs> I'm pretty sure Willowis was two south river mouths and that was very hard to deal with. I do remember that. It worked out fine, but I did feel like the edges of the island were pretty thin and cut off and there wasn't much to do. So 
I get it now. I understand. I was thinking back and I'm like, everyone says that two South River mouths are not good. And I was like, well, why? You can work with it, right? And I did for Willow Wisp, but I don't want to do it again. I do remember how hard it was to do that. So there's not enough space. Oh, <laughs> wow, that sounded great. This, I mean, all are good, but this. <sighs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm looking at airport positioning the most right now. Airport and resin services positioning is so important for this look. That's why a part of me was like, I should have just kept Riverwood, but I didn't want to flatten it. I didn't want to flatten it. I was just in no interest of flattening. We're all about the map today because the villagers can be changed. This is really good. Okay, so this is the exact map that we're looking at right now, which is dope. Yo, I was looking at this map, like based on the position of resident services on Riverwood and the airport, it's almost, this is almost an exact, it's very close to the same island. I think this is gonna be it. I'm already like sold. Just comparing the map that I made for Riverwood, for the new Riverwood, Riverwood 2.0, that's it. That's it, that's gonna be it. That's the island, let's look. See? <laughs> it looks generally the same, just with the airports where they are, right the median of five and six, the resin services one block over and two blocks down. This is exactly what this is. So we're done. That's it. That's it. I'm very excited. I really, I also just need any airport color but blue because I'm tired of the green lampposts. I know I can change them. I just would like to be able to order not green. What's the fruit? Oranges again. Have I had an orange island? Is Llama Land oranges? I think Llama Land might be oranges. I'm closing my eyes. It's a green airport. All right. Okay. I'm accepting. I have my bestie cat, my OG sisterly, and Bud. He's a summer boy. I've never had a lion on my island, so you know what? Okay. <laughs> bestie! Bestie! You're perfect for summer, Bud. Yes, because then we put the path back here. You keep going. Ah! <laughs> The pansies, again, Riverwood was pansies. It's okay, we'll just get rid of it, it's fine. Yeah, this is exactly just like Riverwood. So am I going to keep this? I think so. I know this is exactly like Riverwood on so many levels, it's kind of weird. I did design a map that I really liked based on Riverwood in case I decided to flatten, and I really like it. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's go. I'm so happy. All right, let's everybody. Cat is here. Bud is here. And it's me. <laughs> yes, very good. Let's see. How shall I begin? Welcome to your island. Thank you for my tent. I know what I want to do. Thank you for the map. I'm very excited about that map. You betcha. All right, beach it is. Let's go. Yeah, first time living on the beach. First time putting all my villagers also on the beach together. I usually like leaving them, but I'm not. I'm I'm business. I'm all business this island. Hi, baby girl. She's perfect. I love her. When I first met her two years ago, I thought she was the ugliest thing I'd ever seen. I was like, oh God, I have to deal with that and then we became best friends. I'm awful, right? But that was me being naive and not knowing you could fall in love. I kind of love that she's here. I'm like tearing up. Oh my God. I'm literally tearing up that I'm spending time with her again. Uh, can I find you a spot? Yeah, I'll find you a beautiful spot. I feel like I didn't really realize how much I missed Kat until I saw her. I'm putting Kat right next to me. Yes, ma'am. 
Yes, I also love this outfit. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I don't think I've had this cute of an outfit for the start. Like I might wear this forever. <laughs> this is perfect. I love yellow. I love fall. It's wonderful. I'm having a great time. <laughs> Bud, yo, never would I ever think to bring you shredded to this island or a island in general, but we are gonna be temporary friends. Let me find you a spot, please. Thank you very much. Me and Kat are gonna have our hangout time. We're gonna have sleepovers and have a great time. And Bud is gonna be on his own over here because he's definitely not a forever villager. Watch me change my mind. I'm biting my tongue already, I bet. But everyone has their tent. Run, run back to the plaza. Go, go, go. Spade, run. Let's go, let's go. Let's throw a party. Let's go, let's run. Let's throw a party. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. I know what to do. Let me do it. <laughs> la, 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 la. I know what you need. And I'm going to get it for you. I'm so excited. <laughs> Can I shake this tree any harder about how excited I am to be doing this finally? The restart videos are usually way easier. So I'm gonna try to do, mul I definitely will try to do multiple um, videos a week while I can, um, just so we can all stay caught up on the adventures of this particular island. Give me your branches, I know you have more. Where is the oranges? There's so many weeds, so many weeds. Wow. Go, 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 go. We will rise to the challenge, Tom Nook, and I do have a name. Gimme, let me name it. Let me name it, let me name it, let me name it, let me name it. So I decided that Evergreen was a, I can't even type, was a really cute name. Um, I shared him with a pizza dog and he agreed that this was his favorite because this island is meant to be, and it will be, I swear this time, it's going to be remain in the, like the bulk of it, like the bare bones of this island is gonna remain the same throughout the seasons, but I want to decorate and, you know, change the vibe up for every season, but I want like the pathways, the houses, everything to remain where it is all year around but the whole vibe of the island it's like i want the island to celebrate each season as it comes through so that's what i want evergreen to be buffberg guitar barrow we all just met but chilling by the fire like this and we feel like we've been best buds for ages pretty pretty you have no idea you have no idea we've been best buds for two years and you don't even remember it but that's okay Borowski, let's go let's do it give me the bill let me get started on getting all these nook miles i will be so quick a blue radio huh a camo bed. I'll be weird. Sure. <laughs> Let's go! I would love to have more quests that require Nook Miles. That would be great. That would be cool. That'd give you, that'd force you to do more stuff with the Nook Miles. Yay! Yay! Go, 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 go! Yeah, the future people I will one day know, but don't know. I'm just gonna stick it out in front of my pants. So much to do and so little time. I'm gonna be a greedy weeder. You bet your butt. 83. <laughs> I think that's sufficient. It's so great to see you. The campfire was a lot of fun. We're keeping resin services open at night, so feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything. For the time being, I'll be out and about checking with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. <gasps> you're a baby with that little scarf. Yo, what's up? I'm so glad. How did Bud already get a fishing rod before me? Talk to me. Talk to me. Thank you. Yo, Peachy, that spot you found for me was incredible. Thanks. Hope we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies shredded. All right, I've got something for you. What's the hat? Of course it's an explorer's hat. It matches my outfit, so it's okay. It's really cute. <laughs> let me in here. Let me teach me tools. Let me let me hurry up. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme. I am ready. I'm ready. Build, 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 build. I want to sell. Oh! On the first day? Shoot. Why do you have white pansies in here? They're on the cliffs. Talking with your neighbors is very important. Don't forget. Don't forget, I am a very greedy weeder. <laughs> I 
I did it. I just want to leave a bunch of branches everywhere for me to pick up when I need it. Come here, you, you pretty, pretty thing. Hello, common butterfly. How did I not catch you there? Why can't we hold tree branches like that? That's so cute. I want to be able to hold them like that. Yeah, how come you guys can hold tree branches like that and I can't? Where are the rest of the bugs? Blather's favorite bugs. Oh, yes. Thank you for giving me all the nice things. After I gave you things, like, that's a nice exchange. Oh, it's a little seahorse. What a baby. I'm getting sleepy while I'm trying to speed run this whole thing. Probably a sea bass will be the first time I catch a sea bass, but it won't be the last, I dare say. Nope, it's actually a red snapper. Blather has come to Evergreen. Give me, give me the tent now. Exactly where it's supposed to be. Yep. Well, I need to get Nook Miles for being stung. What? I get Nook Miles for being stung? It didn't give me Nook Miles for being stung? I am shocked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we are less than a thousand away. We just plant the flowers and water them already. I missed the individual watering can. I should use it more. It's so cute. Catch it, my guy. Otherwise, I need to. Because it's new. Don't run away from me! <laughs> I'm no better than Bud. <laughs> ah, I'm horrible. We done! We did it! A little goldfish. How many of you had goldfish as a kid? I never had a goldfish as a kid, but I know that was like a classic thing to do. I had a turtle named Lizzie and she was my first pet and then yeah I didn't have a pet except for that fish that beta fish as well which I named marble then the next pet I had was dear old little gyps and now we're without a pet so we need to get a pet we need a pet in our lives dang I got lucky and got a horse mackerel and I needed that too dude what luckiness we can quit now well that's it for today's video guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're excited for this restart as much as i am and i hope you enjoy our as usual programming when we restart um trying to really burn through it this time so hopefully we have some fun and uh yeah if you did enjoy this video please remember to give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to be notified the next time i post i love y'all so much hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time bye